Hi hey guys, it's Matt with Main Street Meat Company again. Um, we're going to start doing a few quick videos on just general information about the meat industry and how to cook things and why we do certain things here at Main Street Meat Company. Uh, we are a federally inspected facility now, uh, which means we can sell across the United States, ship across the United States. We do a lot of different snack sticks, uh, different packaging of styles of that, different raw meats, everything like that. So. There's a lot of things we can talk about, but there's a lot of confusion in the meat industry, so we are just trying to make these videos so we can help you guys. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about today is cooking temperatures. Uh, a lot of most, a lot of people do not know how to cook things, and they're asking our, our retail employees how to cook stuff. Um, so we're just going to talk about cooking temperatures. The number one thing you're going to need is a meat thermometer. We do have these for sale most of the time. Sometimes we run out. Um, but a digital nice meat thermometer is the best way to cook things so you don't overcook it, so it, dries, so it doesn't dry out, etc. A um, few recommendations. Beef, I mean, still, I've been cooking steak and stuff for the last 20 years. And in the kitchens, I used to work in the kitchens. And I still, to this day, I still use a meat thermometer with my experience even in the kitchen. So um, that, just because you think you're a really good cook, doesn't mean you don't need a meat thermometer. So, um, like, for example, we cook all of our chicken to 165. Um, ground beef, we cook all, our, all of our burgers here to 160 to eliminate E. coli risks. Um, whole muscle pork loins, pork chops, stuff like that, 145 degrees. We do have all these list, uh, listed here, so if you guys do have any questions, just ask us. But uh, we do have printouts or anything you can find it online, but the main thing is using a digital thermometer. Thank you.